welcome back to Profile, part two of my interview with reggae legend Marcia Griffiths. And last week, we were talking about, you know, growing up, the developments and in the early part of your career. Um, but you were saying to me that in about 1983, you decided or contemplated um, leaving music. Why? Well, in 83, I lost three special dear people to me. My mother, remember I said last week, I was saying that the thought of losing my mother, yes. that's all the kind of relationship we had. Well, she was the first one to go. And secondly, another brother who was working with me, he was like a son. Mm -hmm. He used to take my kids to school. Then he was in the middle of 83. And my children's father closed the year December. Wow. So it was like one, two, three. And I just wanted to go myself. So <clears throat> I took a break because I just didn't know myself. But you know what? The music itself healed me. Just going back in the studio just healed me. But I really wanted to give up everything. I ended up selling everything I had, giving away everything that I had. All my earthly possessions, I just gave them away. I didn't want to live anymore. But then, you know what was so strange though? And I'll never forget this. While I was at Dovecot, one lady looked like about 99 or maybe in her 100. She could barely walk. When she saw the condition that I was in, she stopped and she said, never mind, don't take it so hard. It could be you. And you see, just that one little thing she said to me, and I just remember my three children, right as she said it, and I just shake up. And when I looked to see where she turned, she just was, she was gone. Yes. And that kind of brought me, you know, to myself a little when she said it could be me. Because I started saying, yes, what if it was me and my kids are so young? The last one was two years old, one was three and five. And I just wake up right away and said, no, these are all I have. My mother is gone and, you know, so I quit. I actually quit from doing anything music. And it was not until I went back in the studio, not very long from the whole incident. And I realized that the music itself can heal you and bring you right back. Even better, stronger. It was like home. It was like returning home. Exactly. And then I realized how much I, this is my life too. I love it. And from the day I said to you that Bob Marley opened my eyes to know that the most important thing is to send positive message to the world, to teach, to educate, to uplift. If we're not doing that, then we are not a part of this because God calls upon the singers and players of instrument only because we are the only ones. It's the only vehicle that can take the message to the people for unity, upliftment, to educate. So I realize how blessed I am that I have life and I can continue to touch souls which I know no doctor in the universe can do. How, how, how then do you look at the music now? Because you've, you know, you've been part of um, the industry for you know, many, many years, and you've, you've, you've seen it develop through a you know, lack of acknowledgement to a sort of international fame, to a lot of criticism now about the state of reggae. The fact that we still maintain that the foundation is always there. 
the foundation is what is what holds everything together. And no matter what is happening, like Bob Marley says, some are leaf, some are branch, I and I are roots, and the foundation for anything to have withstood all of this and still is going. It had to be built on a solid foundation. So you, you feel optimistic? Very much so. And for me to be a foundation person, I'm almost not even the mother anymore, the grandmother. I feel so proud that I can still be here. I, I think I cut across age barrier and I perform on stage with the youngest and even in the 50 collabor collaborations I have, I have so many different young artists that I collab with, you know. Romain Verg and myself have a beautiful collab. So <clears throat> I know that there's hope and the foundation music is always there. It has such substance that it will always be classified as golden oldies. This song that we are hearing now could never be played another, <clears throat> maybe not even a year from now. Some, some of them are, some of the entertainers and the DJs, I find them so creative. And I'm saying if they could just turn that positive vibe that they have and that young, youthful energy, if they could just use it in a positive way and know that they are so blessed to be a part of the music where they can communicate and send messages to the world. I just pass it on. If I speak to any one of them individually or if I do things like this, I always beseech to them to realize the position that they are in, you know, that they can reach out to the world. Oh, Just oh. like Bob Marley took the music to the four corners. And, and, and as a consequence, sort of develop a sense of longevity. And I, I wonder about that from the perspective of what it takes. Because what people see of you is the end product. They see you on stage. <laughs> but, yes. but what's your day? What's your day? What's your routine? to get to that product that has withstood the, the test of time and that continues to excel and that continues to, to um, evolve? I believe it's a blessing. And sometimes when people ask me questions that I cannot answer, I just say, it's a reflection of what is inside. Mm -hmm. It reflects on the outside because it all boils down to liberty and your thoughts, <clears throat> the way you live, and the way you think. Because I might be going through a rough, rough period. I'm very sensitive. I'm, I, I consider myself so delicate. I might be going through so many negative changes, and I have a sh performance to do, but I have to switch off all of that and when I step on the stage, that energy that I get from the audience, what it does, I, can't, I couldn't find the adjective to describe what it does. I want to come back to that idea, though, but we have to take the break on Profile. We are speaking with reggae legend Marcia Griffiths, and we are back with you on the other side of these messages. Mm -hmm. 